This is the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Ince. Brought to you by Gate City Bank and Pepsi. Welcome in, friends, to the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Ince. I'm Rob Pipp. Coach, final game of the regular season. Yep. Great victory today yeah. in the Harvest Bowl versus North Dakota, 42-21. to 21. Uh, Just wanted to talk about your overall thoughts to get started in this ball game. Well, you know, we started fast, uh, scored 21 points quickly uh, in the game, and uh, offensively had a, had a good game plan. Defensively, we're playing well through that first quarter. Uh, and so anytime you can jump out like that and um, play well in all three phases of the game uh, to start a game, it, I, I liked where we were going, uh, but we knew it was going to be a four-quarter game and had to, had to kind of get settled in and, and, and got going late too. You talked about the fast start. Spencer Wagey had a nice sack there to get going. And then for the third consecutive game, it was an opening score for the Bison. Yep. Saw a 51-yard touchdown run there by Tameric Williams. Just what did you like about that play and his effort well, getting started? Well, it was blocked up. You know, uh, our offensive line, tight ends did an unbelievable job. And anytime uh, a running back gets through the line of scrimmage really untouched the whole way, uh, you know that everyone was hitting their blocks and executing at a high level playing in the trenches. I mean, that's one of the keys and obviously the offensive line taking care of business. Yeah. How have you just seen their progression grow and continue? A lot of depth at that O-line as well. Well, there is. Uh, not as much as, as there was at one time. We've had some injuries and some people have gotten banged up, but you know, just the development over the course of the year. It's a long season and our guys continue to buy in uh, the fundamentals and the techniques. Coach Larson does an unbelievable job with that group. Great continuity uh, those kids play hard and uh, they want they want the weight of the game on them uh, they, they want to impact the game and uh, it's fun to see when they get going uh, they can be a pretty dynamic group we'll talk more about cam miller here coming up finishing up with five yeah. touchdowns but he had three in that first half and then just the ability to move the chains in the first half three or four on third downs yeah. you always talk about that had to be impressed with that as well coach well the thing we talked about all week was trying to create like third and nothings meaning third and shorts and the fact that we only had four third downs in the first half tells me that we weren't in third down a whole lot. We were very efficient on first and second down, and that was that was fun to see. When all of a sudden it was second and two, second and three, second and five, um, it gives us the ability to utilize our entire game plan. Let's take a look at first half highlights presented by Gate City Bank. There's a gain of two on first down. It's a second down and eight. Schuster flushed here. Wagey has him, and down he goes for the sack on senior day for the Watertown South Dakota native. They'll give it to Tameric Williams. Look out. He's going to go. Touchdown, North Dakota State. That's his first touchdown at home this season. Well, three after the punt. Miller trying to get into the end zone. Touchdown, North Dakota State. His seventh rushing touchdown of the season from the six. Miller to throw for the first time. Wants to go deep and got a man. It's holding. That's DJ Hart behind the defense. Hart all the way down inside the 20 yard line. What a play. On any issues, first two possessions. That's a fumble and it's recovered. Looked like Rokes got it. It bounced right to the shock of Rokes. And it's Bison Ball. That's Eli Green lined up there next to Miller, and he wants it to Green. Nice defense. Oh, it's tipped and caught. I don't believe it. Logan Hofstad. Johnny on the spot. That's phenomenal. That is phenomenal. Miller will keep it himself. Miller, touchdown, North Dakota State. Second of the game, and the Bison are up 20 to nothing. But the problem with the Penguins, they lost a head-to-head -head with UND. And look at Kobe Johnson get to the outside. Johnson past midfield, out of bounds. All the way down to the 38-yard line. That's a gain of 32. It's a second down and goal from the three. Fake the toss. Miller will keep it. The hat trick. North Dakota State touchdown for Cam Miller. Let's take a look at first half stats presented by Nodak Insurance. Coach, another great offensive day, especially in that first half, 170 yards on the ground. Talked about the opening by Tameric Williams. What have you seen from these running backs continuing to dominate? Well, you just consistent effort. Uh, they trust the they trust their offensive line. They trust the plays. Uh, they're hitting things downhill. Uh, we, we have very few negative plays, and um, you know it's exciting. It's it's a different back every week. We got great depth in that room, and and I think we utilize it you know to the to its maximum. 
Bowman. 133 yards through the air. A lot of guys getting touches here in this ball game as well. Just what did you see from your receivers again yeah. today? Well, we had the big third down conversion early. Uh, you know, DJ made a great catch over the shoulder, got us a third down, got us out of the shadow of our end zone, 97-yard drive for a touchdown. But you know, Cam doing a good job of just getting the ball to the open guys, letting them make people miss. You know, five, seven-yard hitches, stop routes are turning into 12, 13, 14-yard plays for us. Lashaka Rogue's coming up with a huge fumble recovery there as well. Just talk a little bit about that effort. You always want to win the turnover battle. Yep. You did it in this ball game. Yeah, we did. I mean, I think it's three weeks in a row now we've been – plus one and that's huge for us and uh, for us to get the ball back to our offense really in midfield already I mean they were you know, already knocking on the on the red zone or the high red zone so big play and headsy play for him just to jump on that he was in traffic and uh, that's it, exciting when we can create a takeaway and get our get the offense the ball back in that, in that type of field position we'll have the second half highlights presented by Gate City Bank right after this Teamwork, talent, dedication, leadership. These values that win championships on the field also build community, improve lives, a difference every single day for you for our neighbors for our community for a better way of life Gate City Bank This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. <laughs> is on and it's about to get loud For decades, NODAC Insurance Company has been serving our state's residents in good times and challenging times. We come together for the greater good, from simple acts of kindness to company-wide efforts that make a difference in our community. It's who we are, rooted in North Dakota and ready to serve when it matters most. NODAC Insurance Company, agents with answers. Welcome back to the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Entz. I'm Rob Pipp and a 42-21 to 21 victory over UND today. And mm -hmm. Coach, just talking more about that second half now, uh, DJ Hart had a big return out of the gate. Yep. And uh, there at the end, the ground forcing that fumble. So right. luckily it stayed with the Bison. Just talk a little bit about his return and how he continues to grow with this team as well. Well, it's a big play for us. Anytime you can create that. They had some momentum going into halftime. Big return. All of a sudden, the ball's at the 45-yard line, the plus 45-yard line, short field. We find a way to get it in the end zone. That's a huge momentum swing. We kind of took back all that energy that they'd created right there before half. A lot of energy in this ball game, especially with the buys and the fan base showing up. They were loud. And you go back and look over the first three quarters, 14 points in each quarter. 
that would be something you like to see every single quarter, Coach. Man, you wish you could have that efficiency and that consistency every quarter, but uh, great game plan by our offensive staff, great execution by our offensive players. And they're also in that second half shutting out UND, no points in the fourth quarter. Yep, that's one of our goals, uh, you know, Shut out fourth quarter always, uh, being able to finish strong at the end, and it was good to see us put an exclamation point on the victory. Were the guys down there on the sidelines? It just seemed like they were having fun in this ball game, also, coach. Oh, I think so. Uh, you know, I think our kids have a lot of fun here and appreciate this program. And um, anytime you get a chance to play in front of our home crowd on Senior Day, last game of the regular season, um, there's a lot to be appreciative of and a lot to be happy about. Well, let's take a look at second half highlights presented by Gate City Bank. And they'll give it here to Kobe Johnson. Look at the seam for Kobe Johnson. Turning on the Jets. All the way down. They'll mark him at the one-yard line. It was at the one-yard line, but Miller fumbled it. Lost four on first down. T.K. Marshall is the back. Miller will keep it. Trying to find a seam. Touchdown! North Dakota State, the fourth of the game for Cam Miller. It's a third and seven. Miller with time throws wide open over the middle on that one. Green picks it up. That was a high tackle there as well. But it's enough for a first down. Is he going to mark him at the 42-yard line? Big catch for Eli Green on second and nine. Miller, look at the hole there off the left side. Dances back. How about that from Cam Miller? Touchdown, North Dakota State. He's got a handful today, folks. Five touchdowns. The Bison defense forces them to punt. Pierce, it should be Price will take this one from the 28 yard line. Jaden Price, Jaden Price still on his feet. All the way down to the 36 yard line. And a big time, another special teams play from Jaden Price. Just under a minute remaining in the third. Schuster rolls out. Wants to go back across the field. Got a man. Weber nearly picked it off. Made a great play there. Caden Dennis was open. And Weber, the sixth-year senior, flying in. Steindorf did all he could to field that one. Is Wilson is going to get blown up there. Tutsi. How many times have we seen that over the last five years? The way Montana State played. Oh, here the fake. They're going to bring the fake out with Steindorf in the regular season finale for the second year in a row. He did it last year against South Dakota, and he does it this year. Let's take a look at final stats presented by Nodak Insurance. Coach, wrapping up, I know we already talked about yeah. the rushing in that first half, 363 yards on the ground, another dominant performance on the on the ground game. That's what you want to see. Well, and, and we needed that. This was a team that uh, throughout their first 10 games of the year had shown to you know, really lean on time of possession uh, for success, and we were able to flip it. I think we had the, over 30 minutes during the course of the game and, and, and played physical up front. And when I mean physical, we were able to move people from point A to point B and we got downhill on some run games, and we talked about it earlier. We were in a lot of third and shorts, third and nothing. Got into a fourth down that was you know, inches that we needed to gain. And, um, that was exciting for our kids to be able to be that efficient and that execute at that level. Well, let's go now to Logan Campbell with our NODAC insurance player of the game, Cam Miller. Cam, an unbelievable performance by you today. 159 passing yards, 93 rushing, rushing yards, and five rushing touchdowns. What was going through your head today? I don't know. Honestly, nothing changed, but the coaches had told me prior to the game that I was going to run it a little bit more. Um, you know, we had that add-on, um, you know, on the run game, and I thought, I, I, honestly, I thought the guys up front played probably their best game. Tying a school record since 1996. When I tell you that, how does that make you feel? You know, this program, to be in the record books, has always been a goal of mine, but, you know, you know, like I said earlier, I feel like the credit goes to the offensive linemen and, you know, the running backs, receivers, and all them. Coming off one of your best performances at the end of the regular season, right before postseason, how big is that for you and this team? I think it's huge. You know, one of our goals as a program is to play our best football at the end of the year, and I think we're doing that right now. Congrats, Cam. Thank Cam you. Miller, our NODAC insurance player of the game. Rob, back to you. Thanks, Logan. Coach, we've talked about Cam a lot this yeah. season, knowing how he continues to grow and develop. And 16 carries, 93 yards. It was a career high. Also tying a school record, five touchdowns yeah. in this ballgame, three in the first half, two in the second half. Man, was that just kind of, did you see anything coming into this game about possibly utilizing him more on the ground game? Well, I think it was a tendency breaker. Um, 
up until this point had been used very sparingly in the quarterback run game, the plus one run game. Uh, I think everyone uh, across Bison Nation, across the country, when 15's in there, we're going to run the quarterback. Well, all of a sudden, you know, the, our opponent today wanted to defend us in a bunch of single high defense when Cam was in the game and um, on our zone and bypass stuff, they you run out of bodies in the run fit and Cam was able to make some people miss too at the second level. Such a humble young man as all of these oh, yeah. kids are and he was talking a lot about the offensive line just creating holes for him. Just talk a little bit about that success for him today. Well, it, it's going to be a confidence boost, of course, uh, but like you said, Cam is extremely humble. Uh, he's going to pour into his teammates. He's going to praise those guys. He knows that he can't do it alone. And uh, it include, there's 10 other guys on offense that need to be part of this as well. And um, defensively, we got to continue to get the ball back to our offense so they can, you know, like we said earlier, win that time of possession and, and win that uh, physicality. We've talked a lot about this too this season, but just to kind of circle back and, and now through 11 games here, just how has he continued to grow as a leader? What are you seeing from him on that leadership? Well, level? yeah, I mean, just, just the details he puts into it. Um, you know, I don't know if I – the answer is no different than last time we talked about it. Uh, He's what you want in a quarterback, and uh, he's a great leader. He's very mature, understands what we want to do offensively, understands game plan, um, puts a lot of time into his into his craft. Um, but that goes back to being humble and 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 wanting to be do what's right for his team. We'll, we'll step aside, take a break. When we come back, we'll learn about the pride of Hankinson, North Dakota. Better starts with convenience. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing day, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. I live for adventure. Whether it's playing professional football or the solitude of being in the great outdoors. Through all my adventures, one thing I do know, life is unpredictable and full of change. Thankfully, some things remain the same. Important things like service, quality, expertise, and trust. From my childhood to today, Shields has my trust because it has been right there with me for all my adventures. Shields, right there with you. Bison Nation, this is head football coach Matt Entz. With all that goes into leading the Bison to victory, the last thing I want to worry about is the clothing I need to look and feel my best. I shop at Halberstadt's West Acres because I trust that they provide me with everything I need for meetings at the office, press conferences, and casual Bison attire. With plenty of options for sport coats, shirts, denim, suits, shoes, and accessories, I'm confident that when I need anything and everything menswear, Halberstadt's West Acres has me covered. Welcome back to the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Ince. Coach, and this week's Olaf Anderson feature, WDAY's Dom Izzo takes a look at the pride of Hankinson, North Dakota, Cody Mauk. Good to see you there, and there is the song. To see the, especially the kids you teach, look at him. What is that, what is that reaction for you like? It's just, it's kind of neat because they're like, this morning they were like, Cody's here, Cody's here, Cody's here. And, it's just, it's, it's so awesome. It was a scene befitting a nine-man town. The entire gym was packed to honor the Bison All-American left tackle, who seems destined for an NFL future in the coming months. His hometown did not hesitate to make sure Mauk knew how much he means to them. It means a lot because, you know, he still loves us. He doesn't forget about us, and seeing him at every uh, family event means, means a lot. There's other people in town that took some time off from work and came up here um, just to honor him for what, what he's accomplished. Well, even like this, he was feeling a little, not awkward, but I mean, it, you know, it, he, he didn't want to be the center of attention like that, you know, so, um, and that's just, that's how he is. But he'll always take time. I know after the games, we'll, we'll kind of have our family there meeting Cody, and then he uh, 
kids come up and I don't know, he's hugging them and taking pictures. And I mean, he's, I mean, with the kids here, he's just, he's just so good at that. So good at that. Such a good role model for them kids. <laughs> Son, after the, the home game, we went down and first home game, and we were waiting for him to come up. I want my picture taken with, with Cody, and I said, well, go ask him. Go, well, no, he's so big. I said, I guarantee you he'll say yes. So I took his hand and he asked him and took the picture with him and so forth. And that's just the way he is. He's kind of a kid at heart. For the former pirate who used to walk around these halls, now to be the man in the spotlight, it was a lot to take in. I spoke to the high school kids and they were asking questions and, and that part I thought was really cool. I didn't, I didn't expect a Q&A. I, really, I don't know what to expect coming down, but no, I'm, I'm glad they did this. It was really cool and I'm really just appreciative of the t my town and, and family and all of them. You just don't think something like that could happen. I mean, in the first place, having something like that happen, but these small town kids that, you know, they're playing nine-man football and he, he walked on at NDSU. He walked on there and he earned everything he's got. Coach, Cody's another one of these guys that we continue to talk about. Came into this program 2017, a yep. preferred walk-on as a tight end. Right. But then, of course, making that switch over to offensive tackle, what did you guys see in him to well, make that move? Well, he originally came in as a defensive end and then made the move to tight end and then made the move to offensive tackle. So he, he's had some experience on the other side of the ball. Um, Cody's a, just his work ethic, his 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 commitment to this program or what put him or what have gotten him where he's at right now. Uh, just buying into what Coach Kramer does, buying into our nutri nutrition plan, buying into our offseason plan and really pouring himself into into the game plan, into becoming the best version of himself. And um, he, he's, he's earned a lot. It's fun to watch him. His energy is contagious and uh, it's exciting to see him playing his best ball at the end of the year. Well, you mentioned about his hard work and just the example that that sets. It's a perfect example of when you work hard, it pays off. He's seen that as a bison there may be a young person watching right now that says you know I want to be in that bison program what kind of example is Cody setting for those young people and, and what should they look for well you know being a walk-on uh, you know Cody said I, all I need is an opportunity give me a chance and I'm gonna make the most of every opportunity make the most of every day um, he was committed to making you know right now means everything not worried about what happened yesterday not looking too far in the in the future but trying to be the do the best thing for him that day and coach Kramer's been a, a huge uh, piece of his development I mean, he's put on 80 pounds since he's been here and uh, he's still big lean athletic kid that moves around really well and, and uh, it's exciting to see him play at a high level it's a great young man and you talk about seniors and the impact what will his legacy be here with the bison just the way the the, the energy that he played with um, you know, we've had guys who've been uber physical. We've had guys who've been uber athletic. He's kind of a mix of both, but his just passion for the game and passion for his teammates is, is second to none. We'll step aside and take a break. We'll have more on the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Ince when we come back. This is Jack. Jack loves sports, and since he banks at Gate City Bank, he can show his spirit right on his debit card. Even better. Gate City Bank will donate $10 to his favorite local school. And when Jack's friends cheer on their favorite teams, those schools receive $10 too. Plus, Jack and his friends score every day with free ATMs worldwide. Now that's always a win. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. beyond the expected to help you leave pain in the past and find your way forward. Orthopedics and Sports Medicine at Sanford Health.
Back into the Bison football show with Coach Matt Entz. As always, I'm Rob Pipp, and this week's great clip, great question of the game is brought to you by Great Clips. It's from Rob in Moorhead. Coach, he wants to ask, who do you consider the biggest rival, UND or SDSU? Oh, you know, that's a good question. Um, because then, you know, the next time we play Northern Iowa, someone's going to say that's a huge <laughs> rivalry game. So, you know, I don't know who the biggest rival is. Um, I think everyone is up for Bison games. It's everyone's Super Bowl. We have to be prepared every week. We try to just go into it with our process, with our approach. Um, you know, I, I don't want to be up and down like that. And, and, and one game's more important than the other. The next one's always the most important one. Coach, senior day here today, yep. 13 guys getting honored, Harvest Bowl. Just wanted to give you an opportunity just to, to have your final thoughts with these seniors and what they've meant to you in this program. I know it's bittersweet. Well, it is. Uh, I've been with them for six years. Uh, a lot of them I recruited out of high school uh, when I was fulfilling filling the coordinator role here. But this week, those guys, they're, they're, we give them an opportunity to talk at the end of practice and the, the passion. Um, the, it, it, we never talked, nobody talked about a win or a championship. It was about the relationships with their coaches, with their teammates, with the support people. It was about this program and what this program has provided them and means for them and um, they're, they're 13 tremendous young people um, who are champions through and through and uh, they've only scratched the surface of their success and I look forward to them doing great things down the road. Coach and I just wanted to commend you and your staff my first year here all of these young men so respectful so humble uh, and I don't want to ever downplay any guys that I've been around but this has been some of the greatest group of guys that I've been around. Good. Well, I appreciate that thank you. Coach final question most important Thanksgiving what are you doing what are you uh, probably going to do something with the team. Uh, hopefully, uh, per playoff pairings and things, uh, we'll be fortunate enough to get a bye. Uh, we'll have a team meal here in town uh, and uh, celebrate with them, uh, celebrate with my football family. And uh, on Friday, probably anticipate watching the Iowa-Nebraska game, uh, giving my wife a heck because she's a Nebraska fan. And um, so try to lay low as much as I can, but also start preparing for the next one. All right, Coach. Well, it's always been fun throughout the regular season. Looking forward to the playoffs coming up. And that will wrap us up today. Again, thanks for joining us here on the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Entz. You can follow Follow GoBison.com for the latest in playoff pairings and more. And as always, remember, hordes up and go Bison. Today's Bison football show with Coach Matt Entz has been presented by Gate City Bank and Pepsi. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield. Don't be fooled by that beat-up old cap. Its faded crown represents the tireless work of America's farmers and ranchers. Its sturdy brim, their dedication to providing our nation with a safe, affordable food.